But, hey, at the end of the day, I know you're I got no bad luck. I was scrolling on Twitter over TikTok like a jobless person because Twitter is much more fun and has much more drama. I wasn't really expecting much because over the past few days, there has been a lot of drama happening. But then I came across this one video that Kim Star posted on his page. It was the most random collab of all time. Kim Star really knows how to throw a party on the 4th of July, bringing two people who absolutely hate each other on a table and let them go at each other not only it was so awkward it was so embarrassing as well but hey we are all for that fourth of july firework what happened is he invited a couple of youtubers and their partners as well and he invited mudohar also known as some ordinary gamer he's a commentary guy as well on youtube i'm pretty sure you came across his videos once or twice hello guys and gals me mudahar and with him he invited boogie six six seven eight nine ten something like that I, I don't really know the numbers anyways if you're not familiar with his situation let me give you a recap he's a youtuber he scammed his audience with a crypto coin meme scam and played dumb afterwards when people confronted him. People like CoffeeZilla, some ordinary gamer and most critical made videos about him on what kind of a piece of shit he is and how stupid he thinks people are. He dressed up as Down G and straight up told his community that if you want to go broke, if you want to stay a loser, go buy this coin. Ha <laughs> ha. And the, the whole point of this thing was making fun of the crypto people who you know promote crypto stuff but it was very obvious that he was using that as a shield in case he gets caught in that scam because the launch the coin was launched and there was a volume of three million dollars in it and mudahar made a 30 minute video going through it piece by piece and just explaining what kind of a piece of shit he is and this whole thing was just he was just playing stupid the whole time because if you actually you know don't want to scam your audience you wouldn't actually launch the coin because the coin went up and then it just crashed down Kim Star thought it would be a great good idea to invite these two and have a debate in real life. And I gotta tell you, shit was embarrassing. You know, what's your point in all this? I'm just saying, why, do, why be a victim? Just be honest about why it. Why be a victim? Boogie, why be a victim? Put the glove on, be a, be a victor. Boogie, why be a victim? Why be a victim? No, no, just tell the camera you wanted money and you didn't care about your audience. That's, that's fine. Uh, no, I, I wanted money and I also wanted people to not to fucking attack me, so I played the victim like a dipshit, knowing it never works. Oh, so I'm yeah. a over. Piece of oh, shit. No way, Mr. Boogie. We actually thought you didn't know about this whole scam. You actually thought you were joking about this whole thing and you weren't actually planning to scam your audience. This whole shit is like, for example, you're in an elevator with Boogie and Boogie farts in the elevator and he comes up to you. He's like, yo, I just want to say I farted. No shit. We already, I already know you farted. You want to hear what it is? I reverted to my covert narcissism ways. I tried not to. I did a Caleb Hammer interview today, and I told everybody to go fuck themselves because it was funny. And I'll tell this man here right here, go fuck yourself. It was funny. Nobody Ooh. with a brain. Nobody with a brain. I'm sorry for cutting off the video too many times, but I just got to say this. It was funny. Mr. Boogie, it was funny. Yes, it was so funny. It was scamming your people with hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars. I don't know actually how the whole crypto $3 million dollars volume work but i'm assuming a lot of people lost their money and i'm pretty sure they're sitting in the house and they're laughing their asses off because it was a joke <laughs> anyways i literally was like yo don't be a victim proceeds to be a victim for the next 90 seconds no <laughs> way with it dude where's the victim where's the victim i'm telling you i did an interview just today the, just said okay you, you wanted to you wanted to scam the audience and make money that's it where's the scam i told you not to buy it the scam would be to tell you, you like hey you know i know no i know a scam i've seen you promote yeah. raid shadow legends when did i Ooh. promote raid shadow legends have you ever done that have you ever done that have you ever done that You just said that I yeah. promoted Ray, right? No, 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 no. I know one you probably Hold done. On. Hold Have on. you? Wait, you let him you respond. Said, you said I promoted yeah. Ray. Now, out of all the thousands of videos, find any Ray Shadow Legends promotion. I don't watch your content, content anymore. Said, I watched it five years. One of my most popular videos is how I rejected a bag from Ray Shadow Legends. Okay, that's awesome, actually. That's awesome. I didn't know that about you. Yeah, like, like, this is what's crazy. He blatantly this lies, and then when you catch him in the lie, he thought you did. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Now, to be honest with you, I don't know what this whole ray thing they were talking about is but i'm assuming it was something that mudahar got offered to promote a scam product or something and boogie here claims that mudahar actually did accept the offer and did promote that and he scammed his audience as well but no one is no one attacking him 
Buddha Heart is a scammer. And Boogie in this situation kept on embarrassing himself, saying, "What? Where was the lie? I thought you did." You thought, yes, 100%. That's a very valid reason. He clearly had no comeback to this argument. He was out of words because there was nothing he could have said about this. So he just assumed something from him that he thought he did. And he just dropped it in his face. If we would have literally just looked at Mudahar and say, you're fat. Your, your mustache is ugly. That would have been less embarrassing to whatever the hell he just said. And said that, oh yeah, I assume. Where's the lie in this? Everyone was here. Everyone was here. Right? He all said, I promoted it. And then I said, I did. And he was like, oh, I thought you did. I thought you did. <laughs> you Motherfucker, I used to think yeah, the world was flat until I thought it was round. Just say I never did on the camera. Give Ethan fine. Well, you're a narcissist. You are the world. You're obviously round. Just give old Ethan the clip. Hey, at the end of the day, I know you fucking hate me. I got no bad. Come on. I'm not shaking your hand. He's not gonna shake your hand. Stand him up. Stand him up. This man just got engaged. Come on, man. Put it. I'll shake his. Put it aside for me. If you haven't realized what exactly happened in this situation. Boogie laid on the ground, opened his mouth, every single person came over his head, shat on his mouth, and he just got up and he wanted to handshake and say thank you for that. It's, it's a hard watch. It is truly a hard watch. Inside for the other Bro, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. There, there's your seat. Jump across the table, Boogie. Oh, no, I, I, I found a new seat. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh. I found a new seat. It's good. Oh. Yeah, it's good. Right next to him. I'm comfortable. Aren't you? Yeah. We're at a party together. We're having fun. Yeah. You want you want to make this about bullshit? We're making it about bullshit. I'm here to have fun. I'm I've been having fun for three days. He had to beg your ass to come. You know, I'm his fucking know, friend. I flew across the goddamn country to get here. You flew or you drove? I drove, motherfucker. Oh, you lied again! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I have no idea what was Boogie thinking agreeing to come over to Kim Star's house and have this gathering they were, they were having. Did he think by showing up there will be a chance of him saving face, trying to make peace with it? Hey guys, I just scam people, but it was a joke. Forgive me, handshake, handshake. If you would have sat down, looked at the wall, it would have been much, much better for his reputation. And I think the only way these two can settle their beef is to sit at that table, have an eating or a drinking contest like true gentlemen. But actually... Boogie's gonna swallow Mudahar in that contest. In that case, Mudahar and Boogie need to oil up and have a Japanese wrestling game. I would pay to watch that match happen. Anyways, I just thought this was a hard watch and just wanted to talk about it and share it with you. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave it a like. It truly helps out the channel a lot. If you are new here, if you enjoy videos like this, I drop on daily basis. Make sure to leave, leave a sub and welcome to me yapping on daily basis.